In this video, I want to talk about why you should choose Samsung Galaxy A52 over Samsung Galaxy A72. A72 is $100 more expensive as compared to A52. So it costs more and provides you with few more and extra features. But let's first take a look at the specification. So we have got same hardware in both of these phones except for the size and all that. So we've got the same internal, same processor. Snapdragon 720G I guess. Both of them have same IP67 rating. We have got stereo speakers, we've got fast charging, we've got in-display fingerprint scanner and then they're both running on the latest One UI 3.1 software. So Samsung has really pushed the limits with their mid-range phones. So we've got a lot of new and interesting features in these phones but there are a few differences as well. And we will look at these differences in the context of the price difference between A52 and A72 and whether the more price of A72 justifies more features. Now I want to talk about the first difference here and try and debunk it as well. So I want to talk about the screen size here now. So A72 has obviously got a bigger screen size so it's 6.7 inch and A52 has 6.5 inch screen size. So uh, guess what, if you don't have both of these phones in your hand and comparing them side by side, you would hardly ever notice the difference if you're holding an A52 or A72 because the size difference is so minor here. So if you're not really too specific about the size of the display that you want, you will absolutely be fine with A52 and its 6.5 inch display. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, next up I wanna talk about the battery size and battery life of these phones. So A52 has 4500 mAh battery as compared to a72 which has 5000 milliamp hour battery now both of these phones will absolutely give you more than a day of battery life you will not have to worry about because i've not been able to finish the battery of both of these phones by the end of the day and i've been using them for some time now and i've been playing games and watching netflix and stuff like that I've not yet been able to end the battery by the end of the day. So both of these phones will take you to the next day without any problem. If you're getting one and a half day out of A52, you're getting around two days on A72. If you have an average use case scenario, if you're playing games all day long and watching Netflix movies, you will end the battery in a single day. But if you are an average user, a little bit of social media, a little bit of camera, a little bit of, uh, you know, making calls and emails, and stuff like that taking a few pictures you'll be fine with both of these phones and you definitely don't have to worry about 5000 milliamp hour battery on a72 as compared to 4500 on a52 now let's talk about the charger so we get super fast charger in the box with a72 so i don't know why samsung would do that we're still getting the adaptive fast charger in the box with a52 but if you care a lot about fast charging like i do you would spend 15 to 20 dollars on amazon and just get a fast charger for your a52 so that's the deal with the battery difference on a52 and a72 and then if you go in settings and go in battery and device care you will see that Samsung has actually baked in a lot of battery saving features. We have optimization features here and if you go in battery, you can then turn on power saving mode, you can limit background usage of apps, you can go in more battery settings and then you can you know, play around with these battery settings and get the best experience out of your phone. And now we come to the last feature and that is the camera department. So we have one main difference in the camera department between these two phones. So if we flip them over and look at the cameras here, so we have a 64 megapixel primary lens on both of them, optically image stabilized. We have 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, great. And then Samsung decided to do something weird. So we have an eight megapixel telephoto lens on A72 and we don't have telephoto lens on A52. So Samsung decided to put in a depth lens, a 5 megapixel depth lens on A52 for whatever reason. My guess is that they just put it in here as a placeholder for telephoto lens because they wanted a consistent look across the series here, right? And then we've got a 5 megapixel macro lens here. And then we've got a flash and camera bump, which is the same size on both the phones. If telephoto lens is crucial to you, then you have only one choice here. Just go and buy A72. But you have to ask yourself, how often do you use telephoto lens on your phone? I have an S21 Ultra and I have hardly ever used the telephoto lens on that phone. And that phone has got 100x zoom. So you have to ask yourself this question. How often do you use telephoto lens? How often do you zoom in on your photos while taking a photo? How often do you zoom in? And 
and take a photo if you rarely ever use telephoto lens you can just let go of it and go for a52 and if you really need to zoom in you can zoom in after taking the photo that will provide you with a better experience because you will take the main photo with 64 megapixel lens and you can retain a lot of image quality when zooming in on that photo and I also want to know which one of these two phones are you looking forward to buy and has this video helped you in making that buying decision let me know in the comment as well and if you have liked this video and if you have enjoyed it and if this video has added value to your buying decision uh, please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this I will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye